What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got for you some plyometrics for skiing. Obviously plyos are super important for athletes to do, whether it's to build up that elasticity for the stretch reflex, uh, to help generate more power, or just for injury prevention and structural tissue health. So we're gonna be doing some plyometrics for skiing. I run you through like 25-ish of my favorite plyos. These are not all of them, there's so many more you can do, but I'm just gonna drop you guys a few. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you're subscribed to catch all of them. All right, I'm going to hit the gym, so I will see you guys there. What's up guys, just wanted to jump on here real quickly and say that these are in no particular order. I kind of just jumbled them all in there. Um, I always recommend starting with force absorption plyos, then moving on to plyos, working on that amortization phase or decreasing your ground contact time, and then you'll go to pure power production. So I've actually made a video about the proper plyo progression that I uh, use. So I'll make that into a little click card above so you can click on that. Uh, so make sure you give that a watch because it is important that we do plyos in the correct order. You can't build a strong house on a weak foundation. So give that a watch and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. 